the instructions to follow are for the AIS and ARPA settings inside EGDI's software. Before proceeding to settings explanation, be informed that based on new requirements of EGDI's software, user has the capability to remove, turn off, the CPA and TCPA of targets. To set up your targets settings go to Menu, Config, Targets For AIS select the Name tab. The first setting is Auto Activation. This one will enable all AIS targets without any limitation under nautical miles. This should be checked for better accuracy and system response. Second option is use own transmitter as source of position. With this option enabled, EGDIS can use the antenna of AIS as source of position. Helpful in case your GPS is lost. Last selection is true scale symbol. This will show close targets under high scale, in true scale. Under distance to activation setting, user will add the preferred range to nautical miles in order to view, activate the targets around own ship. A sample for this setting is displaying in the video. Activation means, that AIS will be with a vector in its past track. AIS targets outside from this circle will be smaller, without any vector and past track. Next one, is AIS target visibility range. This range will bring the AIS around you and display them into your EGDIS screen. It is wise to have a limitation and not leave it unchecked. AIS zone display, will just draw a thin blue line as your activation zone. The thick dashed circle is your visibility range. At the bottom, you can set up the past track information of your AIS targets. Under ARPA tab, settings are same but less. Follow the same instructions to set up your ARPA ranges. Association criteria should not be changed. Association will merge an AIS and ARPA target and bring it as one. User can select how this merged target will appear. Like an AIS or like an ARPA target. Last tab, is the CPA, TCPA settings. As we mentioned in the beginning of the video, the setting can be turned on or off according to user settings. In case this function is disabled, EGDIS will bring this message on the top left corner of your display.